Welcome back to 30 Days of Photoshop. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a photo collage. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's video, we're making a photo collage. Actually, we're going to make two of them. We're going over some best practices on how to make these photo collages, like using smart objects, loading your files into a stack, and how to use align and transform to make sure your proportions are perfect. We got a great tutorial for you. Let's jump into Photoshop. So the first thing I wanna do in Photoshop is open up our sample image for this tutorial. So instead of just going down to file and over to open, which would just open a bunch of different images, what I wanna do is load them all into the same document because we've got eight different images. I don't wanna to have to like pull everything together. That just takes a bit of time. So we're gonna to go to file down here to script and over to load files into a stack. There we go. Now we're gonna click on browse and then all I have to do is find my files. So how to make a photo collage, go ahead and download this. Now you can just follow the link right down below so you can download these and follow along. So we're just gonna highlight all eight of, the, eight of my images and hit open. You're gonna see it's gonna load them right here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit okay. Now, what it does is it pulls all of my different images together. It takes just a second, as you can see, but it puts them all into one document. And there we go, it's done. So everything is now in one document. I can just turn these layers off and that saved me a ton of time. So if you have a bunch of different documents to pull together, this is the best way to do it. So now it's time to create our template for our photo collage, which by the way, you're gonna be able to download this as well. So this is gonna be for Instagram, it's gonna be a square post. So let's go ahead and hit Control or Command N for a new document, okay? And we're just gonna go ahead and size this by pixels. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be a square, so let's make it 2400 pixels by 2400 pixels and a resolution of 300, looks great. So let's go ahead and hit okay. So we've got our square, now I need to go ahead and start dividing it up. And you can do this in any number of ways. I'm just gonna put four equal size squares within this square. So here's how we do that. It's actually really easy. Let's hit F for full screen. I'm gonna create a new layer and then hit Shift Delete, which is the keyboard shortcut for the fill dialog. And then we're just gonna fill this with black. Now I wanna translate this. I need this to be half size vertically and horizontally. And I wanna put it up in the top left corner. So we're gonna hit Control or Command T for transform. Then you wanna make sure this little checkbox right up here on the top left is checked. This is what's going to allow you to basically move around your control point and your control point will do things like change where your image rotates or if you decide to scale, it's gonna scale at about that point. So you can see that here, it's scaling from that point. So hit Control or Command T and then we're gonna click on the top left of this little grid which just moves your control point right up there, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and lock our width and our height right here and just type in 50. So what this does is it makes it 50% of the width and 50% of the height and just puts it on the top left. Now I could type in 33.33 and this would be a third and this would let you put nine squares in there if you wanted. But in this case, we're just gonna go to 50 and click on that little plus icon. So we've got our first little square we're gonna hit Control or Command J to duplicate that and then use your move tool, just click and drag it off to the right, okay? Just make sure you hold Shift so it just goes straight to the right and you can still use your left and right arrows to kind of nudge it into place. There we go. Now we got both of those layers. We're gonna hold Control or Command and click on both of those and hit Control or Command J and then hold Shift, click and drag right down to the bottom. Fantastic. So here we have four different squares that make up our image. This is actually a fantastic place to start because we can use clipping masks to clip our images into these places. So let's go ahead and show you how to, guys how to do that. So here's our first template. Of course, we're gonna fill it out and then when you download the PSD, it's gonna be all filled out and you can use it very easily. But the next thing I wanna do here is I wanna use smart objects. Now, we showed you guys how to use smart objects earlier in this series. Basically, anytime you resize something, if you don't want to lose resolution, you wanna first make your layer a smart object. So let's go ahead and do that. All I have to do is right click on my layer and go to convert to smart object. That's really easy to do. So we want each of these layers to be smart objects. So we just right click on each of them and go ahead and say convert to smart object. Cause I am gonna resize these and we don't, we don't wanna lose any resolution, right? Like if you make something small and make it back bigger again, 
and you know, all of a sudden it looks grainy or pixelated. We don't want that. So now what we're gonna do is choose the images that we actually wanna put into our new collage. So I think this looks good, some food photos. There we go, you can see that's quite large. So of course we'll be resizing that. Some food photos, yes, a nice relaxing in my infinity pool, yes please. An overhead view, yes. And these are all pictures of Thailand, by the way. So I was like, okay, cool. Let's get, you know, let's get some, this one looks good too. Let's get some, you know, like maybe you have a, a trip to Thailand that you took and you wanna post a photo collage on Instagram. Like this is what we're, what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and hit F for full screen back on this main document. So the cool thing now is I've got four different images, okay? And then four different cubes. Great, so let's go ahead and choose the image I wanna be on my top left cube. So I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag this to be on my top left cube. But what I want, and the reason why I made those cubes is because I wanna be able to ha basically have this photo just visible where that cube is. Now, in order to do this, all I have to do is create what's known as a clipping mask. And what that does is it makes this layer visible where the underlying layer is visible. Super easy to do. Just right click on your layer and go to create clipping mask. And then check this out. This layer is now only visible right where this other square was visible, okay? And look at this, if I were to put this other one there and say create clipping mask, boom, now this only becomes visible where that square is visible, okay? Or of course I can move it around. So let's go ahead and put it up there. We're gonna create a clipping mask over there. There we go, bottom left, we're gonna go ahead and create a clipping mask there. And then here we're gonna do the same thing, create clipping mask there. So now, like the black squares we made, that was our that was our grid, right? But now what we can do is start moving things around. You can hit Control or Command T, there we go, to start transforming your layers into place. And because they're clipped, there we go, because they're clipped to the squares, they're only gonna show up there. So basically, like you don't have to worry about, you know, moving everything around and like, having everything like in the wrong place as you size or scale these. And they don't have to be perfect. Like you can decide, oh, you know what? I just, I think that's actually the interesting crop there. Boom, let's put that th as the crop there. Okay, we'll do the same thing right up here. Fantastic, and that looks nice right there as well. So it's extremely easy to do this and you can move these all around at any time. Now, the last thing we're going to do here is just create a new layer right on the very top, okay? And I'm just gonna make a thin little selection with my marquee tool, and we're gonna fill that with white. Duplicate it, hit Control or Command T, flip it around, and then merge that together. So we'll just call this lines. Okay, there we go. So again, that was just a thin little marquee selection tool that I just filled with white. And there we go. Now, the cool thing about this, let's say we wanted to switch something around, okay? Like this image, I wanna pull in there, okay? Well, I just decide where do I wanna put this? Do I want this on the top left? Why well, I just right click and say, create clipping mask, boom. Well, sorry, it's on the bottom right. I meant it to be on the top left. Not a big deal. If you want it on the top left, just click and move it. There we go. Go to create clipping mask and check this out. That's just on the top left now. And we're gonna go ahead and just scale that down a little bit there. Cool. That's me and my surfer dude outfit. That's not me at all, by the way. Uh, there we go. Check that out. Incredibly easy to do, and you can just switch your images out at any time and move them around. So this is for Fantastic for Instagram. We're going to go ahead and save this out. It's going to be included in your download. Now let's do one for print. So let's say you want an 8 by 10 inch photo. Let's show you how to do that. Super cool. So here in Photoshop again, Controller Command N for new. We're gonna to go to inches now, and I'm gonna say width of eight inches, let's do a height of 10 inches, resolution of 300 pixels per inch. That's gonna print well. Okay, and now we're basically doing the same thing. So I'm gonna create a new layer. Okay, I'm gonna hit Shift Delete and fill this with black. Controller Command T, now we're gonna make sure it goes on the, like our control points on the top because I wanna shrink this up. Okay, and then I want this height, let's, not link those, I want the height just to go to 50. Okay, so now this is just 50% of the top of my image. Cool. Now we're gonna hit Controller Command J to duplicate that and bring that down. Controller Command T again. 
I'm gonna pop this over to the left, and now our width, we're gonna say 50 on this one. There we go, and then duplicate that. Obviously, you can just figure out whatever type of collage you want. I, I just thought it might be nice for, you know, one on the top, one on the left, and one on the right. Okay, and then basically, we just grab our, you know, grab our group of images here again. Okay, that looks great. Yes, maybe we'll put that over the bottom left. So clip that. Now you can hit Option Command G to clip your images as well. So you don't have to right click and say, create clipping mask. You can use the keyboard shortcut as well. All right, we'll put this one in there. This will be for our uh, bottom right. Great, Option Command G and there we have it clipped. And we can go, just go ahead and resize it if we want. Fantastic, and we just need an image up on the very top. Oh, that's a good one. Bring it up there and go ahead and put it right there. And of course, you can just uh, reorder these as you want. So let's hit F for full screen. And because these are clipped, again, I can just move them around. It's super, super easy to do this here. There we go, that's pretty cool there. All right, actually, I wanna make this just a little bit smaller. The composition wasn't exactly what I wanted. There we go, that's looking a bit better, huh? Fantastic. And then on the top, again, just with my marquee tool, just make a small little marquee. Boom. Fill that with white. Fantastic. And then, Controller Command J, rotate that around and put that right there. And we're done. We have our photo collage. Ooh, this one, I don't think I, I think I warped this one like the wrong way. Like I, I did this a little bit to it. But would you just look at this? This is another actually great example of why it's great to use a smart object because check this out. I can hit Control or Command T and you can see my width is 4.69% of the original and my height is 9.55. Those aren't the same, right? It'd be like, if it was the same aspect ratio, it'd be like 10% and 10%. Now, if you didn't use a smart object, you wouldn't have access to this information. So because I use a smart object, I can go back and actually make it perfect. So let's do it 10% and 10% of the original one. Boom. And there we go. We've got it back in the proper aspect ratio because I shrunk it accidentally by holding shift. Because we use a smart object, we were able to change it back again and fix everything. So incredibly easy, super quick. We're able to get two different photo collages, perfect for Instagram, perfect for print. Obviously you can use them however you'd like. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying 30 days of Photoshop. If you haven't already done so, be sure to sign up. You can do that right down below. You'll get all these sample images so you can follow along. You'll get a calendar. You'll get even bonus goodies that are only included in this series. And it's absolutely free. Best ever. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.